In the world of mechanical keyboards, a number pad is something often left far by the wayside and forgotten. But what if you actually need a number pad? Are you just screwed? Well no, no you're not because now we have the perfect one by Mellatrix called the Zoom Pad. Anyone who's heard of Mellatrix know they literally dropped some of the best budget premium keyboards that you can get your hands on. And yes, budget premium is a thing. And this numpad is a match made in heaven, especially if you manage to get in on the Zoom 75 group buy. Paired alongside my special edition black Zoom 75 is a fully hot swappable gasket mounted tri-mode Zoom Pad in black. Oh, and it's also VIA compatible in case you wanted to change any of your keystrokes, macros, etc. So what you get with the tri-mode version of the Zoom Pad is an all aluminum Zoom Pad case and weight of your color choice, a matching backplate, and all new nightlight knobs that allow the LED features to shine through. Speaking of LED, you get a tri-mode RGB lit PCB to run your Zoom Pad. With it being tri-mode, you also get a 600 milliamp lithium ion battery and a 2.4 USB receiver. Since it's wireless, there is no USB cable included, but I'm sure you probably have a few USB-C's hanging around the house by now. We've got a PC plate mounted by gaskets. That's right, the gaskets returned from the previous Zoom boards. Man, I like those things. You get a healthy amount of foam for customization, a set of Wuche V3.1 stabilizers, which performed actually pretty amazing with some quick lubing with Crytox 205G0 and HXTBZ for the wires. Silicon feet to prop it up. Lastly, some hardware and Allen keys. The design of the zoom pad has a really nice finish. It's it, somewhat rough and smooth to the touch at the same time somehow. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's nice. And this one even has a little bit of sparkle to it. The back plate is a mirrored PVD, which is beautiful, but it's pretty easy to scratch if you're not careful. That being said, it does feel and look rather premium. And I'd say you get more than what your money's worth if you need a numpad. For the switches, I'm using one of my all time favorite linear switches, the Zaku by Bosa Supply. And for the keycaps, I'm using Domiki Doge. Link in the description if you want to check it out. This configuration of the tri-mode wireless version sits right around $85 and can max out at only $89 before adding any extra add-ons. Other versions such as the wired or the special edition will vary a little bit. When it comes to the add-ons that are sold separately, you can grab extra weights, extra plates, knobs, and some really cool custom knobs called spinny friends, which, which I hear are pretty friendly. There are also other options for storage cases that sport some pretty nice artwork. And not only that, Mellatrix offers a southpaw version that has the knob on the opposite position, which makes it easier for you to use along the left side of your board as opposed to the right. It also keeps you from having to remove your hand from your mouse to type on it. <laughs> Speaking of type, let's go ahead and check out this sound test on the zoom pad. And even for a number pad, I'm obsessed with the sound on this thing. As I mentioned before in the video, the Zoom Pad really is a perfect match for the Zoom 75 keyboard, but it really does have its own purpose in whatever setup you wish to add it to. The slight height difference you may see from the Zoom Pad to the 75 is caused by the prototype silicone feet. In the production unit, they'll actually match perfectly according to Mellatrix. The group buy for the Zoom Pad ends on August 8th at 9.30 Beijing time, so I'd hurry up and grab one before it's too late especially if you got the Zoom 75. After purchase, the Zoom Pad is expected to arrive around October 2023, which isn't too bad for most group buys. <laughs> also, for anyone who is interested in the Zoom 75, as of August 6th, there are still select pages with pre-order units available from different vendors. A pre-order being a little bit different than a group buy, so once they're accounted for, they're pretty much gone. If you want some more details on that, you can check the description. There may be some more information there as well. Thanks for watching, that's my overview slash review of the Zoom Pad. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more high quality keyboard and tech videos. And leave a comment down below what you think of the Zoom Pad. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.